Hello guys, this is Dr. Mora again with some more videos about how to use Onyx F. Today video will be about sequential distillation or maybe um, staging, okay? And um, as we know, sequential distillation is very often, we, we require very often to do sequential distillation, but you will also learn today how to use proper staging tools with Onyx F. I'm going to remove my camera so you can see the whole picture here, okay? So I already have this case with sequential distillation on the left side, some expansion on the right side. I'm gonna play it so you can see how we distillize first, second molar. When second molar is 50%, we start with first molar and then and then the same, the same idea. So 50%, when this is 50%, we go with the first molar. When first molar is 50%, we go to the first, second premolar, then first premolar. Then we make some space with this K9. You can see here, for example, on this stage three, we start some movement of the K9. So we can derotate the K9 a little bit before moving the anterior segment, okay? Also, we will have some space here between the aligner and it will, we, it will have more grip and we will have better movement, okay? So this is what we want to achieve. We can expand this size while, while we distalize because we have the whole anterior segment has anchorage and this is very important. And also we are not expanding the seven as you can see here. So we are, we are also kind of using the seven as anchorage. Well, we are only rotating the seven and this is a very, very easy movement for the aligner, for the plastic. Okay, so how do we do this? I'm going to delete this, all steps. So this is the way I do sequential distillation. You can do it here in the timeline, right click, you go to staging, and then you go to extend. So this is one of the ways you can use the staging tools, the first thing, you want to do is to stop all movements. So you select all of the tooth. You can also do it here. You click here, this edit, and you place zero. And you're telling here that all movements at this point are stopped. Not, not even one tooth is moving. So what are we going to say? We're going to say to tooth, um, sorry, 27, to start moving and goes 50% of movement, okay? And at this side, I already know that we have around four to five stages because I'm going to stay one, two, three, four, and maybe yeah, four stages because this move all along. So I'm going to tell this dude to go 25% of movement, total movement. I'm not segmentating movements here, we're going all the way, you can make segmentation, more staging of movements. And um, for example, over here, you can select if you want all movements to be done at 20% of um, final um, final um, limitations or final positions. But you could also say maybe, I don't know, I don't know if you first want to expand, you can place, I don't know, um, vestibular. Uh, you can give torque while you expand. You should give torque while you expand so you don't lose the torque, depending on what you're looking for. Obviously, this is more mechanic stuff. Um, you can just start rotation, uh, torque, and tipping. Whatever you want to do, you can stage the movements. But right now, we're going to make full uh, movements, but 20%, okay? 25% and 50% the first molar. We are not moving the anterior segment. And you can see here, there's no movement. So we place okay. And over here, you can see you will have 25% of the movements of the total movements of this part. And you will have 50% of movements on the tooth 17. So then you click another point here, right click of the mouth, mouse, new stage staging standard the same thing again okay so we go zero again sorry zero again we have movements to zero this is this is this the, on the step we are this is the one we're looking then if you if you continue doing movements then you will have the final the final positions okay so 
what we do, we tell 17 to go 100% and you tell this to go 50, okay? You click okay and then you go to 16 and you tell them, you tell him to go 50% of movement. So you will have, when this goes 50% of his move total movement, this will start moving. Okay, and this will go to 50% of his total movement. So we click OK. And now you can see we have 25% of this one, 50% on this side. And then on the second stage, you will have 50% of this movement, 50% of this one, and 100% of this second molar. You can see here the timeline. It goes perfectly. Okay. Okay, so... What you have to do next is the same thing until you finish your staging. So we're gonna do it a little bit faster. So we select everything, you click zero. So you tell this to go 75%. You tell this to go 50%, sorry, 100%. We already finished with the second molar and you tell this to go 50%. It's a little tricky to do this, but this is a way you can do it, okay? so. You can see now, let's go to the next staging. And over here, we already tried to grab the canine a little bit. So we do, again, we go 100% here because we already finished this movement. Then we go to 100% of this premolar and we tell this two to go 50%, okay? So now we're going to have simultaneous movement of this uh, segment, okay? And you will have this type of staging, okay? And you can end the staging here because you can see that after this point, you will have anterior movement as well. You will have enough space to um, the aligner to grab and wrap the tooth around it. So here you go, you already make your staging then we need to create steps. It's pretty easy. You, to create steps, you need to select your um, limitation of movements. You go click here, you go limits of tooth movement. And I already have a um, different type of um, limitations here. And you select the one you want. This is the one I regularly use. This is the most commonly used. You click OK. And you can see tooth are pink and white is because some of them are um, already, um, they already passed their limitation. So you go to zero and you start F8, F9, and you start creating the steps automatically. You can see here, F8, F9, until you finish. Obviously this will be a long case because we are we're making a lot of staging. And you can see now, how the staging looks like. Obviously, we're not talking about mechanics here. What you need to do while you are distalizing, uh, you'd have to derotate the um, first molar. You can expand at the same time. You need to place attachments for premolars. Um, not always you can. You have to place attachments for second molars or first molars. I usually place attachments for distalization when I do more than two millimeters of distalizations. Usually, you don't need attachments for molars to distalize. But sometimes, uh, sometimes could be necessarily depending on the movements you're making. So thank you so much. I hope this video helped you guys a lot in your um, next designs. And see you another day for more videos.